It's George from BW Limited Charity Fundraising. Uh, I just, I'm actually driving through Annapolis, past the uh, Naval Academy. I'm not looking at my phone, I'm driving, but I'm talking at the same time. So, a little while ago, I posted a thing on my personal fan page about um, Bethlehem Steel. And Bethlehem Steel hits home for me, but it also has a charity message, basically. Seems like everything in my life has a message that goes back to charities. So, um, when I, I grew up around in, in a town called Edgemere or Sparrows Point in Baltimore County, Maryland. Baltimore, hon. And um, the town that I grew up around, Edgemere, or in Sparrows Point, Lodge Forest, Fort Howard, was all built around Bethlehem Steel Steel Plant. My father worked there for 43 years. My uncle, Andy, worked there for a very long time. Seems like everybody I knew, their father, um, they worked there. It in its heyday, I think they had like 40,000 people, 40,000 employees. It was huge. There was inside. There were um, it was a town. They had um, they had houses. People lived inside the walls. They had houses and neighborhoods and schools and churches and stores and movie theaters and everything else. But um, as time went on, and they started getting priced out from overseas steel, it slowly started to erode their business. Finally, after all this time. They shut down now you got to understand something this wasn't some little tiny thing this was an entire an entire like um, city an entire city that now and this is what I'm why I wanted to why I took a picture and posted it that literally is now is being torn down and it's it's a blank shell of what it used to be I mean I can tell you I remember waking up in the morning and seeing rust that had hit the cars all over Edgemere and here in the mill in the background banging and clanging and my father coming home and covered in grease so but what does this have to do with charities just like then you know Bethlehem Steel this monster conglomerate company this huge steel magnet basically um, at no point did they ever think that they would ever be priced out because they were it right they were the company so big huge how could they ever lose well charities think the same way and I'm gonna name names the American Legion the VFW all those older the moose um, those older older charities you know they they need to reinvent they've got to reinvent themselves because if not they're gonna get they're gonna get pushed out and they don't ever seem to reinvent in fact I mean let's just talk about the veterans charities the veterans charities you know they appeal to the younger vets. I mean, a vet, I'm a veteran myself. They appeal to the younger veterans. Charities have got to reinvent. They've got to keep themselves current. In uh, um, they got to keep themselves relevant. If not, they're going to lose. People are going to go to some other charity. I'm telling you, as God is my witness, it's going to happen. And if they don't do it, I'm trying to hit, turn my heat up at the same time. If they don't do it, if they don't do it, they're going to lose. They're going to wind up closing their doors because. Everything has a shelf life. Remember that. Everything has a shelf life. You've got to reinvent. You got to stay current. You got to be bright and vibrant, and you got to you got to do the new things. For instance, um, I can't tell you how many times how many clients I go to meet with, and I'll ask them who's on Facebook, and a few of them will say no. In fact, I just met with somebody who told me she wasn't on Facebook. Um, you you got to. This is the new way. This is the new era. It's the new way, and. Success, charity success is right out there for them. So they've got to reinvent to stay current. In order to stay, you know, at the top of the game and at the top of the shelf, you got to reinvent and stay or look brand new all the time. Make sure you're reaching your clients. If not, if you just sit back and think, oh, well, we're so established, we don't ever need to change. Well, we'll see in 10 years to see how it is. So um, that's today. I just wanted, you know, seeing Bethlehem Steel close down, it's made me think about this whole everything has a shelf life um, and how charities need to reinvent themselves to stay current and that's what I want to talk to you about so thanks a lot that's today's daily video blog from George of BW Unlimited Charity Fundraising www.bwunlimited.com thanks a lot and I'll talk to you later bye bye